Hey, welcome back to another edition of Championship Muscle. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Today's topic of discussion, and it is a very important one, your kidneys and how to keep them healthy as you get older, right after this. Hey guys, Coach P, welcome back to Championship Muscle. Today we're talking about your kidneys and how to keep them healthy. Your kidneys are like the oil filter in your car. The oil filter filters all the oil that goes through the engine. Your kidneys are no different. It filters everything that you put in your body and cleans it. So the last thing you wanna do is fuck up your kidneys. Because if you do, you're gonna end up on a kidney waiting list for a transplant and that could take five years and it might never happen at all. In your younger years, you're able to eat pretty much anything you want and get away with it. You're not having any issues because you're young, your kidneys are young, and you're strong. As you get older, if you keep up those habits, you're in for a mess of trouble. Your kidneys are gonna get worn out. They're gonna start to function less and less because they're not gonna be able to filter the amount of blood that needs to be filtered to clean your blood and make it fresh. So when that happens, you're gonna end up on friggin' dialysis, and that's no fucking joke. As you get older, you have to change your lifestyle. You have to change the way you do things with your food intake, your alcohol consumption, because you will become a diabetic. And that's no joke, because I am a diabetic, and I stopped and took control over my life and changed my lifestyle. And I've taken myself off for of insulin. I've done full keto and I'm saving my kidneys. I haven't had insulin in over two and a half months. I'm saving my kidneys before I get that message from the doctor. Hey, Richie, you're fucked up. Now you're going to go on dialysis. I'm not going to let that happen to me because I know someone very dear to me who is on dialysis. Matter of fact, she just had a kidney transplant and it's a miracle that she was able to get this transplant because her antibodies in her blood were so high because of so many blood transfusions. It's no joke. It's a life-threatening situation. And I'm going to give you the formula that I use to protect my kidneys. So stick with me till the end of this video and I'm going to give you that recipe that I take every day. I drink eight ounces of this every day. It's not a Michelob Ultra. I love it, but I don't drink them anymore. What this combination is, and this is from a doctor, it's 24 ounces of zero sugar cranberry juice. I use the Great Value brand from Walmart because I seem to find it more easily than Ocean Spray and I don't find it that much in you know, the local stores around me, but Walmart's got it. So I take 24 ounces of that zero sugar cranberry juice. Cranberries are very low on the glycemic index for those of you that might be diabetic. It's not gonna raise your blood sugar. There's no added sugar to it like the regular cranberry juice. It's pure cranberry juice, zero sugar. I add to that one cup of apple cider vinegar and I use the one from Bragg. It's the one with mother in it. Mother's all the, all the pulp and all everything in it. I shake it up really good. I measure out one cup and I pour that right into the, um, the cranberry juice. Then I get a knife and I cut three to four lemon, uh, lemons or limes, your choice, either one is good. And I squeeze the juice of those lemons or limes into that 24 ounce pitcher. Once that's done, I take four or five packets of Splenda monk fruit sweetening. And I add that to the mix. The remainder is about another 20 to 24 ounces of water. I shake it up. Every day I have an eight ounce drink of that. And it tastes delicious, believe it or not. Even though it's got the apple cider vinegar and as bitter as that shit is, the cranberry juice and the water take that bite way out of it. And it really, it's an enjoyable drink. Ice cold, it's delicious every day. That's how I'm protecting my kidneys because that is gonna flush the filters inside those kidneys. And this was told to me by a doctor. So that's my rant for today. If you don't wanna go on dialysis, if you don't wanna go on the kidney waiting list for a kidney that you might never get, 
take care of that shit now because sometimes you never get that second chance because the person who's very dear to me almost never got that second chance and she would have perished eventually because you only live on dialysis for so long. So like I said, that's my rant for today. I got a book out on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. It's, 40, um, it's my 40 years of knowledge in a 28 page book. My brother and I are on the cover. It's got my little bit of sarcasm in it. It's a very good read. It's getting five star reviews. And I'm a product rep for Gene Pro Protein. Gene Pro is by far the best protein powder out there. It is made for bi bariatric patients. It is made for people on dialysis. We just talked about dialysis. That's how clean this protein is. It's 30 grams of protein per scoop, and it's my go-to protein supplement. I don't use all that other garbage that's out there. In my opinion, it's all garbage. Gene Pro is by far the best. Use Coach P in the discount block, get yourself 15% off. I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you back in the gym. Peace out.